There is this team tracing a cow mine. They out the whole team, no exceptions. How is it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 4 The Ballad of Gay Tony walkthrough video. This mission is Ray Bulgarian, who calls you or calls Luis a while back and offers him some job opportunities. And Luis finally takes him up. I'll tell you right now, with Ray's missions, firepower. Real simple. Firepower. And lots of it. And that is all I'm going to say. This mission is called Going Deep. It is a very, very, how shall I say, intense mission. And I'll explain once we get into the game and mission itself. Yo, Mr. Bulgari here. I don't care hey. if he does want to sell. I want to buy. How much did you offer the last time? Double it. Offer 20 million, and then we see if it is not for sale. If this painting is not hanging on my wall, your hat will be. Okay? Think about that. You want I should pay visit to his children at their school? Not yet. I think there's always a prize in this city. Oh, Louis, excuse us. We have been rude. Don't worry about it, man. I like the setup here. These guitars are all collector's items. Celebrity rock memorabilia. Okay, man, good for you. Got a nice place here, Mr. B. That is piece of shit. I bought it for my sister. Hey, you bring me to this fucking country and you keep me in an ugly cage. No one on TV lives in fucking Dukes. Then you come and move all my stuff into hallway and fill place with fucking guitars. Shut up, bitch! Take your pills! A friend of mine is here! Ha! You don't have any friends! You don't even have a business here! You are nothing in this My country. sister! She's still getting adjusted! We all are! So how can I help you? Fuck you, Ray! You have ruined my life! Yes! Yes! <sighs> a difficult situation. It seems I'm being investigated by the National Office of Security Enforcement. There is a particular unit that has a hard on for me. And why? Because Mark Cashwilly won't sell me the rampage. You'll get rid of them. I will own this fucking team. Hey, the problem ain't just gonna disappear over here if we kill some crooked cops. Leave the strategizing to me. If the money tells you to cut your fucking legs off, you'll do it. Because the money is better than a fucking leg. The money is making the plans. That's the American way. All right, man. Thank you. I like you. I make you rich. I make you man. Maybe I'll make you a man with one leg, but <laughs> I'll make you a rich man with one leg. There is this team tracing a cow mine. They count the whole team. No exceptions. Okay, man, if that's what the money wants. You're a bright guy, Luis. I still like you. You made a good choice coming here. Fag man, no good. Go! Roll the bitch! Ting! 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 You are to take Ray and his associate, Timier, to a parking garage on Topaz Street. This is where you will meet a corrupt noose officer and, how shall we say, set up an ambush. Um, you are, Luis has offered some bombs, which he should already have from previous missions, 
but he asks for a machine gun and is given it. And that should already tell you right now this is going to be an intense firefight of a mission, which is always what Ray's missions are going to be. Now, with this mission, it's very difficult because Ray and Timur are a little enthusiastic when it comes to the firefight, and it can end up costing Luis his life, which happened multiple times when I played this game. A few of the deaths are at the end of this video. Let's just say you can't do things very tactically in this game because you got these two morons running around. And, well, yeah, it can go pretty bad. I'll fast forward to the entry into the garage and talk you through part of the mission there. Nothing can be achieved here in Liberty City. We need to go down into the lot. Leave the car in this empty space over by the pillar. Once Ray and Tinier exit the vehicle, um, Luis is supposed to put a bomb on a car. Well, they really don't say too well, but here's where you're going to set up an ambush. Place a bomb on the car next to the vehicle Ray was driving. Then put a bomb on the hood of Ray's car. And after you get that bomb on the car, it says, hey, congratulations, well placed. Don't run over and hide yet. Put a bomb on this car. And the reason you want to put a bomb on all three cars is when the noose team arrives, this helps um, how should we say, even things out for you. Now, I've switched to the automated shotgun because there is an advantage when things first start to play out. Let's let things happen. I see the target car. Let's set up this Russian and get out of here. It's an eight when they near the car. Close it, people! You can see how the automatic shotgun helped out immediately taking out the noose member. Now use the rocket launcher to take out another armored vehicle. You have to try and be as tactical as possible. Again, uh, Timur and uh, Ray tend to be a little overly enthusiastic and will bunch up around Luis, which makes trying to deal with the noose infiltration and attack harder. You just got to keep moving and try and stay away from Ray and Timur because they will bunch up and you can actually shoot them and kill them and that ends the mission. Or they will draw fire toward you, and you end up dead. So, yeah, just keep moving and trying to use explosives to your advantage with Luis. Use the sticky bombs if you can, and stick with the machine gun once things really get intense. <laughs> Bye bye. One more. That's it. 
I mainly tried to move Luis away from the other two guys. Like I said, they're idiots. And they bunch up. You can try and throw some sticky bombs to clear some vehicles. And yeah, that, ouch, that hurt. But it's still survivable. You got to just take down the police, track their movements, and get to cover somewhere like here, and uh, you'll eventually work your way through. Once you get up to the top of the garage, use the wall or the corner here as cover. The police are coming. There's Timir who shoots. Use the automatic shotgun and you can take down the one officer quickly. And then this guy you can take down fairly quickly. Let Ray and Timir lead. Once you get up here, find cover and just fire at them with the vehicles with the shotgun because that can set it on fire and explode. Oops, shot Ray. He's still alive. And I think things are going to be, there we go. All right. You're going to get chopped up here. There's nothing about that as far as you can't stay intact. Just stay alive. And now you can steal this really fly police car here and take Ray and Timir, oh, the FBI or FIB Buffalo, take them back to Ray's house. And I'm going to fast forward the journey because what happens is Ray offers uh, Luis a job and, well, he's got to think about it. Again, I'm just going to fast forward through the journey. Think about what I said to you. The offer will not be fair forever. Okay, I will. Send my regards to Big Tony. And there you have it. Now the autosave kicks in and the score and, oh, 71%. At least I destroyed 16 vehicles. Now, this car is actually a very valuable car. It's hard to get. You don't want to wreck it, but I digress. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notification. I post uh, four videos a week right now, and hopefully I've already hit 50 subscribers. I'm hoping to hit 100. I thank everyone for subscribing, and please feel free to leave some comments. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for stopping by. Man, I guess shit just don't go to plan every time. I expect more from a man of your reputation, Mr. Lopez. Goodbye. <laughs>